Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one-third of Israel who believes in the word and follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Yeah, today is so-called Monday. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, man. So every day you wake up, brothers and sisters, man, just be so thankful that Yahabashim uh is still holding us dear, you know, to him. That we still know his name. And we're still in the in the truth, man, you know. That we still believe in the word. All praises to Yahabashim al Shai. So this morning I got up, you know, of course. Hey, it's time to uh, you know, try to I try to do an epistle before before I go to the plantation. Um, came out to the to the desk, sat down, and there was nothing. Nothing, nothing. I'm like, whoa. Oh, so you know, I went and I said my prayer to you. How about you, shine? You know, because some most of the time it's, it's something, you know, something, some some inkling from either another epistle that our brothers brought forth. Something's going on, you know, but there's nothing. I went and said my prayer, and I just, you know, said, you know what, I'm gonna have to go to the plantation and. Uh, I, do, I just do it when I come come back home, you know, God willing, if there's something. I went and laid it down. Man, not, not, not 15, 20 seconds after I laid down again, you know, just, you know, trying to catch myself before, you know, getting back up to go, you know, get ready for, for work. Just like a flower. When you're taking off the buzz of a flower, this epistle come, come out, you know, just started just coming out. And, you know, it's all... Had to be, you know, of course, the power and the spirit of the Yahweh Shem So let's bring it out. This is uh, this epistle is called "The Day Will Come When the True Worshippers Will Worship in Spirit and in Truth." Okay, something like that. So let's get the actual scripture that they come from. That's in the Book of John, chapter four, verse twenty-three. It started twenty-two. It says. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay? So this, you know, so this is a powerful scripture. Um, salvation is of the of the Jews. And Yahweh Shema Shai has opened, opened up our eyes, you know, and our minds to understand these words, these mysteries of the scriptures, you know, that salvation is of the Jews and for the children of Israel only through the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as the scripture actually say throughout the whole Bible. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, okay? And now is. That's the part right there. And now is, because this is the time, brothers and sisters. Because we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, you know? This is the time when the Lord, all these prophecies are coming to a head. The elder apostle Tahar deemed it. The, uh, the year of prophecy, 2020, and everything is like boom, 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 all around us, brothers and sisters. It says, but the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yahweh Shema Shai is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? Now, this is... This, uh, this right here, man. This this epistle to me, it uh, it's 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 it's, it's, it's there. It's, it's it's what what the Lord said. My thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. And it just brings forth more understanding, um, because at the end, the Lord said, I'm I'm gonna put my laws in their inward parts, okay? Because the Lord understands that we we can't do we can't perform these laws. He know that we're just filthy rags. But he said at the end of the day, he's going to put these laws in our inward parts because that is how he wants us to ultimately be. Okay? And right now we're making ourselves a living sacrifice. We're doing the law, statute, commandments to the best of our abilities. You know? And uh, here we go. Let's let's get the other the next scripture. This is the Rome, book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. Okay? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And I remember, um, remember when I'm first coming over to the to the Elder and Apostle Great Millstone and all the other brothers bringing out the 100% truth, you know. Um, they, uh, 
they were saying constantly saying hey look at everything through spiritual lenses put on your spiritual lenses you know look at everything through spiritual lenses you know if you have an argument whether it be you know uh or you know if, if something happens to you you know you're being afflicted look at everything through spiritual lenses you know yeah you lose your job look at that through spiritual lenses you know there's a reason for everything there's a reason for everything because you have about is in control of everything so this is the book of romans chapter 8 verse 6 for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace okay because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh Shemashai, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh Shemashai. Neither indeed can it be. Because if you're going, if you're not um, looking through everything with the spiritual lens, if you're not living spiritually, then what? You're living carnally. Then what? You're doing as thou wilt. You, you, every whim that comes up, you have no restraint. You have no um, discipline. And also, I, once again, I remember first, when I first came into the truth, the elder apostle Tahar, I remember he made this epistle called Discipline. And I was like, oh, man. And it was so, it was so heavy, you know, just being a, just being a babe. And we still are babes, you know, still on the milk. But it was back, man, right there at that point, it was so heavy being like discipline. Like, and this, this is a, this is a, you know, speaking, you know, coming, going into ears of a man that, you know, just been going off because we've been taught our whole life that the laws were done away with. You know, everybody's doing their own thing. Uh, then here comes another holla, another pagan holiday. Hey, the Messiah is a white Caucasian man. All kind of lies and deception out there. You know, the lust of the flesh all over the place. Billboards, commercials, you know. And then this, then Elder Apostle Tahar making this epistle about discipline, the spirit of discipline. Wow, man. It was just. So let's read this again. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You know, you got, you're going to have peace because you're, and it's true, because when, um, once you come into the truth and you start actually changing, you put on that new man, a lot of worries and concerns of the world just falls away. Even, look, even, look, just take even Christmas, for instance, or, or birthdays. All the anxiety of getting the right present or getting present at all, you know, just simple, just one simple, just one simple thing. Even Halloween, all the anxieties about picking the costume. Salaki, so you know, pick all, you know, all those things. That's all carnal things. That's not spiritual. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh Shemashai. For it is not subject to the law of, of Yahweh Shemashai, neither indeed can be. So they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh Shemashai. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Okay, so that's very important up here, verse 8. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh Shemashai. Okay, so right now, we're coming back, you know, to the law, statute, commandments. We're coming back to the Lord to try to please Him. You know, the the because we have the understanding that we we went off. We're some filthy ass rags. You know, uh, the Lord has shown His mercy on us. He's given us a second chance to come back to repent, to actually come back and start to do. You know, that's why in James chapter 1, verse 22, it says, Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Okay, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You know, that's that's, that's big, man. And that's some scary ass shit. And we see that with these other camps. That they're in the flesh. They're not in the spirit. That's why they want to come up here and come up to Philadelphia and try to chase another camp off the block. This is our block. You know, just to say, you know, just, you know, just to say that. That's why they want to build up communities. But is that being spiritual? Because we're trying to let shit go. You know, we're trying to, they, what do, what do scriptures say? They would no longer stay upon those that smoke them, but would stay upon you. How about Shema Shah? We're trying to get that spiritual, you know? So then they that are in the flesh cannot please you. How about Shema Shah? But ye are not of the flesh, but in the spirit. 
I got to bring it up too, man. I did this uh, rebuke on the IUIC when they were marching up and down the street like some thugs. March up and down the street like a uh, like a carnal army. You know what I'm saying? Carnal, like they want to fight carnally. No, but this, the, but uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? You know what I'm saying? You see how you see. But ye are not in fl in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai dwelleth in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, he is none of his. Mm -mm -mm. And if Yahweh if Yahweh Shai be in you. The body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Okay? We're going to leave it right there, brothers, and we're going to move on to 1 Corinthians. We're going to try to get this get this done, you know, in a, in a timely fashion. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, okay? Because we got this understanding, we got this, you know, we have this understanding, this perfect understanding of, we have the mind of the Lord, you know? Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. Yeah, because they're gonna, they're, they're not, they're not going nowhere, you know, because all this will be dissolved, you know, and the, the, the scriptures uh, declare and proclaim that the Lord is coming back to put all the kings of this nation under his, you know, under his, under his subjection, you know, under his foot, you know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and all their laws, all their unrighteous statutes and unrighteous decrees are going to be done away with, you know, all their wisdom, all their, all their books of this, uh, the, their lies of history. You know, the twisting of the history, you know, all that's going to be done away with. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh Shemashah in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which Yahweh Shemashah ordained before the world unto his glory. You know, because he declared the end before the beginning. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it. They would not have crucified Yahweh Shemashah. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, this is verse 9. So this is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh Shemashah has prepared for them that love that love him. Okay, and that's like an incentive right there, brothers and sisters. That's an incentive to uh, you know, make that 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 sacrifice right now. To turn away from the from the desires of the flesh, um, you know, because and I'm saying that because um, you'll see. But I, I just have to put it out there, man. Just blank, 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 uh, boldly and blank. You know, frankly, um, it's just like we know. You know, in our spirit, we know what's right. The spirit knows what's right and wrong. You know, deep down. Um, you know, we know we should be doing certain things, but we sometimes do them anyway because of this flesh. But, um, you know, to each individual, it's up to us to combat these things, you know, as an individual, you know, that, that the Lord has given us the spirit to do so. Um, and and it's, it's as simple as that, you know, because, um, because of this scripture right here. The Lord has prepared certain things for us, you know, in the kingdom of heaven that cannot compare to this world so uh at this time we want to just do everything to please y'all about shima shai uh, to the best of our ability that is okay not being over righteous or anything like that but at is so let's read verse 9 again so this is first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which y'all about shima shai has prepared for them that love him okay and what the lord say if you love me keep my commandments but Yahweh Hashem Hashai has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh Hashem Hashai. What, for what man knoweth the, the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh Hashem Hashai know, knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashai. 
Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit, but the spirit which is of Yahweh Shai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh Shai, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teach, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things to spiritual. Right. So once again, we're turning away from all the things that this wicked world has taught us to do. But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. That's right, because that goes right to the scripture. Um, you know, hey, take the beam out of your eye before you're, you know, so you can be able to judge things in a spiritual way. So you don't, you, you're not doing the, you're not doing the same thing as as a, as the next man, as the people in the world. So therefore, you know, hey, take the beam out of your eye. We should get that scripture. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man, because you're now spiritual. Now you're not carnal. For who have known the mind of Yahweh Hashim Hashai that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Hashim Hashai. Right. It's like you know, hey, what what did Yahweh Hashim Hashai say to those men uh, when they were about to stone that that harlot? You say he that without sins cast the first stone, cause y'all not perfect. So why would you do that? You know. And that's because the Lord came back to give you time to get your shit together, give you time to stop being that harlot. You know, and that's what that's what Dad was talking about. You know, cause that's what the Lord was on the scene for, to give remissions of sin to Israel, so they wouldn't be stoned to death right there. Give you time to repent to the one true living God, man. Okay, here we go. So let's get this Matthew chapter 7 verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thy eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye, thou hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. It's true, man, because before um, before you have Hashem uh gave me the spirit to come out here and preach, man, because I did. I had, the, I, had the, I had the desire in my heart to preach. But he put the spirit on me um, to actually stop smoking, man. I was smoking cigarettes. He put the spirit on me to stop smoking cigarettes before I was able to get out on the highways and hedges, man. And that's very spiritual, and that's true. Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 1. But ye, therefore, followers of Yahweh Shema Shai, as dear children, and walk in love, as Yahweh Shai also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh Shema Shai for the sweet smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Okay? That's some heavy. That's heavy. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not once named among you as becoming saints. As becoming saints. As, as, be, as, you know, as, being, as we've been washed and baptized with the word, you know, as we're walking this walk, as we're getting better and stronger. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Amen. That ain't that the truth, because but rather giving of thanks. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Yes, man. Hey, thank you. How about Shema Shai? I thank you. How about Shema Shai so much? I Sometimes I I wonder if I'm doing it too much, man. I'm serious, man. I'll be like, hey, thank you. How about you, man? For this, thank you for that. I'm really, really thankful. You know? For this ye know, this is verse 5. So this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5. For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inherit inheritance in the kingdom of, of Yahweh Shemashah. Let no man deceive you, 
with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye partakers, shalaki, be not ye therefore partakers with them. That's right. Don't, you know, you know, can two walk together unless they be agreed? No. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers, you know. Let no man deceive you with vain words, right? Don't be sitting around like we used to sit around. I had, the, you know, all the praises of Yahweh Shemal Shah again, you know. Got me from hanging around these damn heathens on the damn, you know, after work or whatever. Having a drink and stuff. Thank you, Yahweh Shemal Shah, for clearing all that up, man. Let no man deceive you with vain words, because it's just vain words with unbelievers, with heathens, man. For because of these things, and that was a while back, man, but hey, it's, it, there's a process that still has to happen, you know. For because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh Shemal upon the children of disobedience. Be ye not, be not ye therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes in darkness, right? We were some when we were out there, man. We were out there just like everybody else. All praise to Yahweh Shemal Shai that called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are the children of the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proven what is acceptable unto Yahweh Shemal Shai. And have no fellowship with the, with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's right. Rather correct them. Walk in the spirit, man. Walk with them spiritual lenses on. Like, uh uh. Wait a minute. Even if, if it ain't been in your mind, you know, because um, it's just like um, just like the brothers say uh, to these to these E's when they say, "Oh no, that was our forefathers." You know, our forefathers was the one that did that. But hey, you're still reaping the benefits of it. You're still going along with it. You still actually are part of this system. So it's the same way. Uh, with 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 walking around with non-believers and, and and being a part of this world, if you still going along with things even in your mind, you know you have not separated yourself, you know from this place, and that's what it's really all about. Too getting getting you can't serve two masters. You can't be like, oh yeah, it's okay for them to be transvestites. It's okay to for them to be you know gay, let live and let live. no no no. There's there's one way. Proving. So this is verse 10 again. So this is Ephesians chapter 5 verse 10. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them. And that is one more sure tell sign that uh, these E's uh, are the devil. You know, that, and it's talking about the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church right now. They're talking about uh, when, they, when they put forth that, when they said that, oh, it's okay for for men and men to 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 be married and all this stuff he's 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 a fruit that's darkness man that's going against scripture you know and it's evident that they're the devil for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doth make manifest is light okay so you see that for whatsoever doth make manifest is light so when you do these things you are the light you know <coughs> so like it just like it's the scriptures say you are the light of the world wherefore he said awake thou that sleepeth and arise from the dead and Yahweh shy shall give thee light and that's what happened to us brothers and sisters going back to ezekiel chapter 37 See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is. Okay, here we go. Let's go back up to 16. Redeeming the time, okay, because the days are evil. We're moving into that time of Jacob's trouble. We're, we're moving into the time when Esau Edom is going to come down having great wrath. When they try to put forth these uh, vaccines and this RFID microchip. The elders apostles right now are all over these cats. Who's, who was it? Sakari? Uh, and all these other camps that still wanted to deny that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. You know? Saying this is something else. Christianity. You know? And that's just wrong, man. But look, we are redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding 
what the will of the Lord is. And the will of the Lord is that we understand, you know, these words, that we believe in the word. We believe in Yahweh Shema Shai, you know? We have faith in him. We move in faith. We walk in the spirit. Huh? And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. Okay? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melodies in your heart to the Lord. Right? Giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh Shema Shai in the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Okay, it's getting, uh, this epistle is getting a little longer than two, brothers and sisters. Let's step it up a little bit, okay? Go to the book of uh, Galatians, chapter 5, verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where with Yahweh Shai had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage, okay? And that yoke of bondage is a, a, a sinful nature, man. Huh? Behold, I, Paul, and, and also uh, are trying to be over righteous, man, trying to do the laws. You're 100%. Be careful, man. You know, I think, uh, is IUIC still saying that about the law, law, law? We're not justified by the law. We understand that. But we still um, have to please y'all by Shema Shai. And we do in the laws, statute commandments to the best of our abilities. We're believing in the word. And we also believe that the the son of the son of man come back and die for our sins so we are covered by the blood okay but do we make void the law no we establish the law brothers and sisters okay behold i paul say unto you that ye that if ye be circumcised you shall profit you nothing okay i think that's that's what this is about to go into exactly for i testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law okay and that's exactly what that's what we're talking about Yahweh Shai has become no effect unto you whosoever of you are justified by the law ye are fallen from grace that's right because you're falling from the grace because you're trying to be over righteous you're trying to do the law statute commandments to the best of your I mean all the 100% but you cannot do them 100% number one you're in these chains of darkness number two you're on the Esau Eden with their wicked perverse ass you know, it's impossible for you to do the law, statute, commandments 100%. But we're doing the law, statute, commandments to the best of our abilities, you know, because we love Yahweh Shemashi. And we're doing everything to please Him when we return to Him. For we, through the Spirit, this is verse 5. So this is Galatians chapter 5, verse 5. For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Okay? For in Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Okay, and there we go. Faith by worketh by love, right? And what is love? If you love me, keep my commandments. Ye did run, run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven left the whole lump. I have confidence in you through Yahweh Shema Shai that ye will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. That's right. Whoever telling you, hey, you got to do the laws all, all the 100%, they're going to be in some serious trouble. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased? I would they were even cut off which trouble you for brethren ye have been called unto liberty okay we've been called unto liberty we got grace only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh but by love serve one another okay don't don't take the liberty on occasion of to the flesh to please the flesh man you got to still be um what's the word what's the word disciplined okay for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's right. So you're not lusting after your after your neighbor's wife, you know, because you don't want him to lust after your after yours. And we know that that's the law. You know, you're not looking upon your neighbor's 
a nakedness. You turn your head, man. No, 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 no. And, and you know, so on and so forth. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Then I say then, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, and that's the that's the point. Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right, put on those spiritual lenses. Always try to walk in the spirit, man. When you wake up until the time you go to, to sleep, walk in the spirit is if, if all possible. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to another. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. That's right. Because if you continue to walk in the in the flesh, you're not gonna be able to please Yahweh by Shema Shah, just like we played uh read earlier. You won't and the spirit is the one that wants to always wants to do good. But the spirit is trapped in these sinful bodies. That's why the Lord said he's gonna put, you know, give us new bodies and put the laws on in our inward parts. Okay? But if ye be led by the Spirit, ye are not under the law. That's right. Because if we led by the Spirit, we're going to be doing things more so to please Yahweh Shemashah to the best of our ability anyway. You know, simple as that. You're not, you're not under the law. Because you know that you're covered by the blood. Right? You know that you're covered by the Lamb. Because you're walking in the Spirit. Because you're doing everything to please Yahweh Shemashah in the first place. You know? It's like a, it's like a, a beautiful circle. Like, you know? It cannot be overthrown. But if ye be led by the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Okay? Uh, and it would behoove y'all if you want to run by and, and look up all those definitions. It, it's really, uh, it'll be a good eye opener for you to get a better understanding. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashai. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness temperance against such there is no law that's right because you're going to be calmed down you're going to be thinking clearly you know you're you're probably not going to be you know hopefully uh god willing you know you won't be put in so many situations that um you have to be in battle so much you know because you've already gone through your battles but you know it's all up to you how about you shy if when it's going to Bring you through those diverse temptations, you know, as spoken of in the scriptures. And they that are, this is verse 24, and they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections of lust. So we have crucified the flesh with the affections of love and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be de serious or vainglory. Of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Okay. Okay, we're gonna continue on, brothers and sisters. We only got uh, a few more scriptures to go. We're gonna go to the book of Romans, chapter six. Romans chapter 6 verse 1 what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein that's right if you're dead to sin how can you live in sin then which which you want which one which one are you a double-minded man huh are you over on, on on the fence? You're hopping back and forth over the fence. One one day you're you're doing good. One day you're back. Oh Lord, uh. here you go. One one day you're doing good. I'm a good. Uh. Then the next day, oh, you know what I'm saying? It says, "What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? 
Know ye not that so many of us are as were baptized into Yahweh were baptized into his death? Uh, this is verse 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Yahweh was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. You know, and that's the uh that's one of the perks, you know, that we walk in the newness of life that um you know it's and that's one of the joys of being reborn, you know, and uh casting the cares of this world onto Yahweh Shai and you know uh just becoming that new creature. That's one of the joys, man. Um because we get to start anew, you know, and we get to start anew with the Almighty, with the Creator of the universe, you know, with the hope of salvation, as has been the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that has been trotted down and beat up so much. Now we can come back as a new creature with the hope of salvation, as being a hopeful 144 elect and one third of Israel, man. This is, uh, you know, it's monumental. It's 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 it's, 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 it's a glorious thing, you know. The creator of the universe, the one that's running the show. And just like the scripture says, you know, that I'm, you know, this week, um, it's on been on my mind, you know, it comes up from time to time. You know, when the man's ways please the Lord, even he will make even his enemies at peace with him. And what the, what's the main point of that? He will make even his enemies at peace with him. He will make that one, one more woman just telling you. How powerful Yahweh Shem Shai is. If a man's ways please the Lord, he will make even his enemies at peace with them. He will make them. Huh? Come on, brothers and sisters. Verse 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Yahweh Shai was raised up from the dead. By the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also, we shall be also like in the likeness of his resurrection. Okay, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth. We should not serve sin, okay? And that, and there you go, right there, man. Because it's about uh, totally giving it up. It's about all the way going all in for your how about Shai, you know, and just and and, and doing it. And it, yes, it's, it's a process. It don't happen overnight. But we strive for that, man. We're striving for that. We every day we get better and we get better and we get better. For he that is dead is freed from sin, right? Because that old man is now dead. You're walking in a newness now. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now, if we be dead with Yahweh Shai, we believe that we should also live with him. Okay? Because we don't want that second death. We already done died. You know? So we want that, we want that, 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 that first fruits of the kingdom life. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we be dead with Yahweh Shai, we believe that we should also live with him, knowing that Yahweh Shai being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he lived, he lived unto Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yahweh Shai through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. That's right, you can't serve two masters now. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto Yahweh Shai, as those that are alive from the dead and are members as instruments of righteousness unto Yahweh Shimon Shai. Okay, thank you. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. And there we go again. We're not under law, but we're under grace. What then? Shall we sin? What then? Shall we sin? What then? Shall we sin? 
because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey. Okay, so that says a lot. Whether of sin unto death, okay, or of obedience unto righteousness. So the point right there is get your shit together. Because you're either going to be living to serve in sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Okay? And that's what that repentance is all about. That's what that grace period, that's what that return is all about. Being able to come back to our true heritage, to the, what, who we who we are as the Israelites, you know, as God intended us to be the whole the whole time. Obey his laws. Law, statutes, commandments, you know. And we're doing it to the best of our abilities right now, brothers and sisters. But you how about Shema Shabi think that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that formed of doctrine which was delivered you. Okay? That's right. So thank Lord that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered unto you. So we heard this doctrine from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down with this 100% truth through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Yeh Shema Shai. We began to obey the doctrine and we started to be washed with the word and we turned away from sin. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Okay? So now we're serving, we're serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity, infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so, so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. Okay? So before, when we are in the world, we just... We just continued on in sin, sin upon sin upon sin upon sin, which built up to iniquity, 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 iniquity. Years of years and years of years of years of that shit. But now, even so now, yield your members, servants to righteousness unto holiness. So now we're going to get that discipline where we can we can put on that whole armor of Yahweh by Shema Shai and say, no, pow, pow, ping, ding, ding, get back, get back. Get back to where you once belong. <laughs> okay, this is verse 20. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. Right? Because we were all in to sin. But now, we, we, we're changed. We're new creatures. So let's be all in to being the servants of Yahweh Shem Hashai. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things wherefore ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Okay? So, once again, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Shah for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. But now being made free from sin and become servants of servants to Yahweh Hashem Shah, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Okay? So, look, like what I was saying earlier, we want to be the first fruits. You know? And what did it just say right here? But now being made free from sin... And become servants of to Yahweh Hashem Shai, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Because that's what we're looking for, right? Those crowns. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh Hashem Shai is eternal life through through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See, because this is a gift. This, this is a gift. You know? Because the Lord has called us out of that. He's given us this understanding so that we can be washed with the word brothers and sisters so that we can actually believe in the word so we can believe in the messiah we're not in darkness no more we're not like the other gentiles out there you know who don't believe or who's who's wavering back and forth we got the 100 percent truth man through the power of the spirit of yahweh Shai, through the teachings of the elders and apostles of great millstone man you know what i'm saying look what does it say right, one more time for the wages of sin is death but the gift of Yahweh Shem Shai is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, through the Lord, through the belief. Because what the, what the scripture say? What the what the Messiah say? He that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, man. So look at look 
at the gift that Yahweh Hashem Asha has given us. So let's take that gift and, and let, let's nurture that gift. Okay? I want to read. Uh, I want to continue on to read just uh, chapter 7, verse 1, real quick. And that's it. Now ye know not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. Okay? How that the law had dominion over a man as long as he liveth. Okay? So and that's what we was talking about. Because, hey, just the Lord has come back, you know, to redeem us, you know. But that's why I'm saying, uh, let us not therefore, let not there, let, let not, in verse 12, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies, that ye should obey it to the lust thereof, right? And then right here, verse 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death. So therefore, even though we're under grace, you know, the Lord giving us, you know, come back and die for our sins, we still have to believe in him, but we still just don't make void the law. You know what I'm saying? And I think, um, yeah, we're going there right now. This is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Because what does it say right here? Uh, verse uh, Romans, chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. So, hey, we still... We still have to um, honor Yahweh and that's that's what worship means. The reverence, you know, to love, um, you know, to do the do the right thing. Uh, let's go to the book of Hebrews, and this is gonna be the last scripture, brothers and sisters. Hebrews chapter ten, verse twenty-four. Ten, verse twenty-four. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. Okay. Yeah, we, we like hey, encouraging each other. Notwithstanding the assembly of ourselves together, as a matter of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. That's right, because we see the signs getting more and more. Like the brother brought out, there was an epistle the other day. He said, I think he said it was like, did he say 6,000 earthquakes in like one month? You know, hey, man. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. And you, you hear that? For if we sin willfully, that's right, you got to continue to fight, man, and get better and get stronger and ask for forgiveness. A, right, a just man falls down seven times, right? But we don't continue on, oh yeah, you know, like our, like our forefathers. What did they say they used to do? They used to go actually buy the... Uh, the animals to sacrifice before they committed the sin. Because they knew they were going to go off. They planned the sin. You know what I'm talking about? For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins. That means, hey amen, you can't be coming back. You can't be jumping back and forth across that fence. Talking about who you're going to serve. You're going to serve the flesh or you're going to serve Yahweh Shai. You can't be doing back, bam, 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 back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's uh, that's how a lot of brothers fall out the truth, you know, because they're not staying diligent, they're not staying disciplined in the word, man. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversary. Okay. He that despises Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Okay, and that's what we were talking about uh, earlier when. Um, Yahweh Shai asked him, hey, he, he without sin catch the first stone because they were about to kill that damn woman. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden underfoot the son of, of Yahweh Shem Shai, the son of Yahweh, and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherein he was sanctified and holy thing and had done this despite unto the spirit of grace right let me read that one more time he that despises Moses law died without mercy under two or three witnesses how much more sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden under under foot the son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherein he was sanctified an unholy thing 
and have done despite until the spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongs unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. Okay? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's right. So, you know, the Lord doesn't call you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Your ass is going to go spit in the Lord's face and, 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 and uh, backslide into the world and continue on like you were before you were called into this, this ministry. You know? Or you're going to try to do it, uh, you know, sneakily like nobody sees you. But you have Hashem Hashem see you. And that's why uh, you have to give it all up, brothers and sisters. You got to you know, just come go all the way, you know. There's no other way. But to submit yourself under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shimasha. Let his will be done. Don't don't fight it, man. If you love, if you claim to love Yahweh Shimasha, at this particular time, man, it's we are coming back, you know. The true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Okay? And that's what's going on right now. Let's read 30, 31 again. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of the living God. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were immolated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions, right? Partly, which ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly, which whilst ye became companions of them that were so used for ye had compassion of me in my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods knowing in yourself that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward that's right so when we come into the truth you know there's going to be a lot of people looking at us all crazy and shit our family members and stuff that you know because they don't believe they don't believe it, but that's okay. We're going through a lot of afflictions and sufferings, and uh, um, we're uh, we're sacrificing a lot. But hey, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath greater recompense of reward. Because we're looking for the kingdom of heaven, man. We're looking to get the hell out of Esau Edom's wicked ass kingdom. You know, let this shit crumble down to the ground, man. We're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness, man. We're looking for rest. We're looking for some comfort, man. We're looking for some love. We're looking for some peace. Okay? This is verse 36, and we're going to wrap it up. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, Hashem, Al-Shah, ye might receive the promise. Bam! What? That's right. Just wait. Be patient and do the work. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will, you know, after ye have done the will of the Lord, you know, and what's his will? That you keep his commandments. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that. But, uh, hey, man, that you walk in the spirit, man, and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, let's say it that way. After ye have done the will of Yahweh Hashem Ashai, ye might receive the promise. Ye might receive the promise. Okay? For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Okay, so the scriptures say soon. It's you know, Lord seems like it's tarrying now, but in a little while, just like now, you see these uh, prophecies uh, getting closer and closer together. The birth pains are getting closer and closer together. For yet a little while, and he shall, that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. See? So if any if you want to slide back in the world, man, and start doing your own thing, the Lord has no pleasure in you. But we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, unto destruction, but unto them that believe to the saving of the soul, brothers and sisters. So hey, all praises to you, how about Shema Shah for this epistle? And hopefully this will edify him, brothers and sisters. With that, we're gonna give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word, follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.